Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. I am Aditya, co-founder of Garchi and today we are going to deal with another interesting topic which is polling in Nuxt or in Vue. So without any further ado, let's begin. So uh, as you know, like when it comes to fetching the data from your server, sometimes you might have a scenario where you need to fetch the data after a certain interval, maybe say after each five seconds or each 10 seconds or whatever, you need to refresh the data on your page. So this thing of fetching the data in real time and continuously updating it, it's known as polling. So what we are going to do today is we are going to do polling in view. So before that, let me explain you what's the scenario. So I have an API that's uh, somewhere hosted on, on my local host. So that API is just taking a ID of the post. So I have like thousands of posts in my local database and from that, it's just giving me the image. So based on the ID of that uh, post, I'm getting the image of that post. So for, ex uh, for instance, this is one example image of for the post ID one. So if I do here post ID two, I will get a different image. So this is the different image for that. So something like that. What we are going to do is we are going to randomly generate an ID and for every say like five seconds or 10 seconds, we can, we will get a new image. This might not be a good example because getting the image after every 10 seconds, it's kind of heavy task. But what we are going to do is I'm just simulating it for polling the data for after every certain interval of time. So I'll be using composition API for this. So we have ref and we have axios. So one thing we will need here is, so I'll just create like, uh, also I forgot to explain the HTML. So we just have one div with tailwind classes and an image tag inside it with the image URL going up over here so that we can see the image. So now next thing to do is we will need to first understand why we cannot use async data for polling. So first thing is async data, it's something like uh, it, it loads automatically on the page and once it loads, it's it's actually more like a server side rendering. So for example, like if I want to have the uh, post ID two or post ID three image, then I have to pass the ID in the URL and then it goes through the async data. So that might not be a good uh, way for polling because if you have to do it in component, of course you need to pass it as a props and then every time you have need to, once the props change, then might need a watcher for that and so on. So what we need is we need our own function which does an Axios request and we just put that function and after each interval, we just repeat that function. Okay, so let's see how we do it. So here I have a piece of code from um, developer.mozilla to generate a random number in JavaScript. So I'll just copy this piece of code so that uh, I'll just put it here. Okay, now this is just returning as random integer within the range we provide. So let's now also comment this out like uncomment it actually. Actually, I was fetching the title first, but let's go for the image because they are all weird strings generated by weird slugs, by weird random generator strings. So that's why image is actually somewhat better way to show this. So we have the image gating over here and next thing we will need is, so let's first check if we are getting the correct integer. So what I'm gonna do uh, here, I will just, console.log uh, get random int in the range of 1 to 10,000. So I just want to see like what integer, am I getting the correct integer or not? So I'll just save this, go to my code again. And if I go over here, so yes, we are getting an integer. So that's great. So we will just proceed forward now. So what we need to do is, we will do here set interval and in the set in this set interval we will have a function so i can also use an arrow function that's fine and this function will be called after certain interval of time so maybe i want to call this function after every five seconds so i will do so this is the value in milliseconds so 5000 milliseconds five seconds so 
Now, next thing we need to do is put our get image function over here in the get random int. So, what I will do, I will say get image and I will pass the ID over here inside the function. So, I'll say ID and I will replace this with ID. Okay. So, once that's done, uh, what we need next is so we have the ID. Now, next thing we need is to generate the ID. So, we will say here uh, or actually var ID. I can straight away write the function here inside this, but it might be confusing. So, I'll say here var ID. I will say uh, get random in from the range of 1 to 10,000 because I have around like 10,000 posts if I'm not wrong. So that ID, we will pass it over here. So let's see what does it work, how does it looks like. So if I go back now, it should be there. Let's see if we have any error. Oh, the image is there. Cool. After five seconds, let's see if we get a different image. Yes, there it is. Then after five seconds, one more image. Three, two, one there. Another image. Three, two, one there so this is how we can poll the data so also we can stop polling after certain interval of time so suppose if i if in my, on my website or my web application i want that the data should be polled for first say 30 minutes and after 30 minutes i don't want to poll any data further so what i can do is i can just put this interval so i can say const uh, clear uh, sorry my interval and what I will do is I can have a set timeout function here, like set timeout. So this set timeout, what it will do is after say now this is five five uh, five seconds. After each five seconds, it's polling it. So we can say after fifteen seconds, just don't poll anywhere. So I will say clear interval, and I will say just clear my interval. And after this is done, I will put an alert. polling stop okay so now let's go back now let's wait for five seconds so one two three four five there another one two three four five and now after this we should get a message that no more polling yes polling stop and this was the last image that we pulled now let's see if we can pull any more image so five seconds we'll wait for that and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that's it. We stop polling. So that's how you can stop polling after certain interval of time. So that's all for today's video in nutshell. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel as well. If you feel that this could be done some in a very different way or in a better way, feel free to comment in the section, in the comment section. So like uh, it would be really great to get your inputs as well and it would be good for me to learn something new that I'm, i haven't seen it before so please make sure to comment your own opinions uh that's all from me till the next time goodbye